Hello, uh, I'm going to show you how to make uh, a database in Android Studio with Room. Uh, I'm going to show the basics today and go more in depth in uh, future videos. So I'm going to uh, create an entity, an object that we want to store in the database. And it, I'm going to uh, make a person. Uh, but before that we need to implement the room library to this project. I will put this in uh, the description. You put this into Gradle scripts in Gradle on the module sync and you're done. So let's go back to the entity that we want to store in the database. I'm going to store a person and to make it an entity with the room you make it an entity with at entity, nothing special. And every object in the database needs a primary key, which is a key to distinguish the object. And to do this, just write primary key. And you can make your own keys if you want to. Uh, but in this tutorial, I'm going to auto generate them. So whenever you create an object, they're going to get an auto-generated key to di distinguish them. And we're going to make the public int user ID. Uh, that's it. And uh, my person is going to have two strings. It's going to have a first name. And it's going to have a last name. And how do we make this to the database? You need to type you can type column info. The column info uh, changes the variable in the database. In databases, you don't want this name standard. Uh, so I'm going to change that. When they put this object into the database, the name in the database is going to be first underscore name instead. And I'm going to do the same thing for the last name. So name equals last underscore name. And then we need a constructor for this. So public person string first name string last name and initialize these variables first name equals first name. This is last name equals last name. And we're done. Now we have a person that we can store in the database and he is going to have a first name and a last name. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the queries how to put in information in the database and how to get the information and we're going to create a new interface and this these interfaces are called DAO DAO. I'm going to make a person DAO. And how do I make this object an actual DAO? Just type DAO at start. So uh, we need to put information into the database and with this is room uses SQLite so to insert information we type insert and we make a function underneath it so this is going to be void insert all and we type person this is the entity object we want to put in and you type dot 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 persons and this means that you can just type in a list or just persons you want to uh, add. And like that, we have a function to insert the person object into the database. But we also need to get the, the persons. Um, let's make a list with persons in it. And name it get all persons. Like that. Import this. And this is going to be a query, if you know SQL. And we want to select from person. And this is an auto-generated from this name. So if this was, let's say, car, this will be car with a little c as well. So now we can insert into the database and we can get objects from the database. So what else is there to do? 
well we need to actually create the database so I'm going to name this person database and this is very simple how do I make this a database for with room you type database and what entities do I want to save in the database I want to save persons so you type person dot class and then you you type what version of the database is this? This is version 1. Uh, this is an abstract class that extends room database. Like that. And we need a function. So let's make a public abstract person. We need to use the person DAO in this database. We type person DAO. Person DAO like this. Now we have an actual database we can use with the person though. So let's actually use this in the main function, in the main activity. And we're going to create a person database, database with room.database builder. And here you we need to get the application context. So get application context and person what, what database do you want to create? Person database. And then you name you name the database. I'm going to name it person dash database. And next thing I'm going to do, uh, this is not something you should do. Uh, you should normally use view models and repositories to actually observe the data. But since I'm not going to show that in this video, you type dot allow main thread queries. What this does is that if, for example, your UI is painting, is, uh, the main thread is painting the UI at the moment, and you try to get information from the database, it's, it can take over the main thread and uh, the UI can get stuck. So you don't want to do this. Uh, but in this case, it's fine. For, I'm just going to show you the simplest way to create the database. Uh, now we need persons to actually put inside a database. So we're going to make two persons. Person Joe and he's a person with the name Joe Swanson like that. And another person, person Peter, who's a person named Peter Griffin. Like that. And now we need to insert these persons into the database and you use the database we created above with the person down and insert all and this is how you use the dot 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 uh, you type yo comma peter now we have put them inside the database so now we actually want to retrieve them from the database so let's make a list of persons and they're going to be a personal list and we're going to make them into the people in the database. Get all persons like that and like this. So let's loop this through. It's going to be This is going to be persons. It's going to be a list made by the person list like this. And I'm just going to log this very simple persons. And what do we want to print? We want to print the first names and the last names. Simple like this. So let's actually try this persons. Run it. And you can see that we printed Joe Swanson and Peter Griffin. If we run this again, we're going to uh, insert these again. But let's do it with some other names. Art Simpson. Simpson. Um, Lisa Simpson. So if I run this, we're still going to have Joe Swanson and Peter Griffin in here. And we're going to have Lisa and Bart. So it's going to print all of them so 
I should do this, but it doesn't really really matter. But let's do it anyway. So as you can see now, we have Joe Swanson, Peter Griffin, and Bart Simpson, and Liz Simpson. And this is how you create a simple database, but this is not how you actually want to do it, because you want to observe the data in the database and listen to the database. That, so when you get the data from it, that's when you want to actually use it and not force to the get the data. And I'm going to show that in another video where you don't have to use the allow main thread queries. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, I will post the other tutorial soon. Thank you.